Oh yeah. What are we on? Thursday? We're on No Stress Thursday. What is up, everybody? Who's already here? No, I think I saw a couple of people already here. As as usual, which is nice. People showing up, getting ready to work early. Hello. Hi, friends. Hi, Jen. Hi, Susan. Hey, Tim. Adelaide. Ruth. What's happening? Oh, man. The I, Amy can't wait to tell you about the auction we won. <laughs> I may have spent $1,200. Fine. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I think we have 30,000 poly mailers. Of varying sizes, fourteen thousand of one size, and then like ten thousand of another size, and like eight thousand of another size. <clears throat> um, and then I think we have like two thousand mailers, maybe more, and then boxes and CD mailers, the most magazine mailers. I bought all the things. Oh uh, yeah. And I'm hoping that when we go to pick it up, a it fits in the car, which it won't. B, that they'll give us other stuff because a lot of stuff didn't have any bids. They have a lot of stuff left. And we'll be like, hmm? <laughs> mm? Hello? Oh, no, Adelaide, no. Everyone has COVID right now. Everybody we know has COVID. So take your vitamin C if you have COVID. You got the powder, what's it called? Absorbic acid? Mm -hmm. Pound it every hour. Mm -hmm. Melatonin? It's coming from my cousin who's a physician. She's like, yeah, that itch helps. I'm very sorry. Yeah, that's no good. No, Dan's not going to kill you. He's excited about it. <laughs> because it's going to um, let us sell them to you guys so you can get a deal too. That's not why we're going to use 20,000 poly mailers. I mean, I mean, uh, right? Eventually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we got to figure something out. Yeah, we're going to figure sure. something out. It was too good of deals. $10 for 1,000 poly mailers? Well, it was more because of fees, but like 12 bucks for 1,000? That's pretty good. That's weird, Amanda. What? Maybe exit out and refresh it and co try coming back. Okay, it's done. It's fixed. <clears throat> oh, yeah. We found some good stuff. Oh, oh, we got spotted. What? What? What do you mean? Wait, were we thrifting today? What is today? Today's Thursday. Yeah. We found some really good stuff. <laughs> And then all that stuff. What? So, um, James, I bought you eight gross. And I'm just going to mail it to your house or something. Yeah. Eight, um, 144 packs of DVD CD mailers, bubble mailers. I just bought them for you. I couldn't not. Nobody was bidding on them and I just like got all of them. So somehow they're going to arrive at your house. Just watch out for that. <clears throat> um, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll be stopping at the Urban Thrift. Oh, yeah. Dollar six. We got dollar six. 
Yeah, tomorrow we have to go to Irving. And then I think we're going to go on Saturday as well. Because either we have to take our van to the scrapyard and recycle the stuff that's in the van. <coughs> Doesn't that seem like so much work? It does, but it's probably not. I know, it's probably not. <coughs> the thing that's work is there's still like bags of clothes and stuff. I think. What? Might, there might be a few. <laughs> We're going to figure this out because pickup is tomorrow and Saturday. Yeah. No, no, no. You don't owe us anything, James. You didn't ask for them. I bought them for you as a charitable contribution to your business. <laughs> Seriously. Maybe just shipping. How about that? I don't know how big the boxes are yet. So we'll figure it out. Sometimes when I... I shouldn't say this publicly. Sometimes I use Poshmark to ship large things <laughs> <laughs> to my friends. <laughs> it's the best deal around. Who else will ship something huge for seven bucks? No one. Nobody. Poshmark will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <the> so. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, resellers don't resell. What you gonna do? <laughs> I'm just, I didn't, that's not wrong. No, I know. I can list it forever, whatever I want to list it for. That's true. I can sell whatever I want for however I want. If they pay shipping, I'm reselling. <laughs> it's not even a technicality. <clears throat> it's how their platform works. Yeah, you're right. Hey, Carrie. What are we starting with today? Y'all are going to need a moving truck. <laughs> Probably going to need a moving truck. You're right. No. That'll add to our cost of goods. We can't do it. We're, I'm going to be like, we're going to show up with the SUV. And we're going to be like, we, we're going to need to rent a box truck. We'll be back. We're not renting it. It's going to add to the cost of goods. We'll go twice or we'll, we'll empty out the van. Yeah, we'll do. Yeah, yeah. I'm kidding. I don't really know how we're going to empty out the van. Uh. I don't want to talk about it right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh man, we got. We got We're gonna have to. Gretchen, are you on here? <laughs> we got random. We're gonna have to caravan out there. Random stuff. That's what here. we can do. We can give Gretchen. We can pay her in poly mailers. Perfect. I waited two weeks for a thread of shoe box. Way worth the wait. Rothy's? Uh-oh. Carrie got Rothy's, Chaco, Sorel, Timberland. Nice. I don't know what this other word is that you just wrote. And Coach. Okay, we have never gotten a shoe box like that. Nope. We have ordered them before. Blondo. Okay. Did you say in yesterday's video that your most used box is 8 by 6 by 4 That is absolutely correct, Jennifer. That is our most used box for um, plush and hard goods by a mile. Nothing else comes close. The second most used box for hard goods and stuff is 4x4x4 four by four by four for little things. But even then, the 8x6x4 by by four is way better. For what we sell. I don't know what you sell. Everyone's trying to get us to get a truck. <laughs> Sometimes Facebook does free shipping. Oh, yeah, that's right. How do you how do you know when they're gonna do that though? Can you use my eBay coupon? Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, we need to use ours too. Hey Megan. Does that mean you'll be popping in the good Irving Thrift 2 that you mentioned? Um it depends on okay. It depends on how cool our car is, number one. Uh, number two, both of those thrifts are a little bit overpriced. One of them grossly overpriced, and it's not a sale day. But still, sometimes you find things where they miss them, you know? And you're like, hmm. That happened to me today. Yeah. I'll tell you guys, because you're, you're not on the other channel watching, you know what I mean? I mean, you're going to watch the other channel. I found an Eskandar shirt for $1.50 today. 
in the thrift store where the Gap jeans were nineteen ninety nine. It happened. I saw it. I was there. I took a picture. I took a picture. Uh, so the Eskandar shirt was marked two ninety nine. It's in perfect condition, and it was half off day. It was a dollar forty nine. I'm like. <laughs> but the Gap 1969 jeans were literally 1999. Okay. Right. Okay. There was a men's blue. Um, Whoa, shirt. dancing, drinking. <laughs> Hi. You <laughs> shush. You tell people about it. No. <laughs> Dan doesn't even drink. It's so funny. <laughs> it was priced like 30 bucks or something stupid. Stupid. God. Oh, yeah. If I find a pair of Rothy's, I could fit it in the truck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Dan always acting like a drunk girl in our house. Does not drink and acting like a drunk girl. All day. <laughs> hey. I'm uh, like, oh, my God. Stop. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> I have never found a Skindar at the thrift in my life. So for today, first time. Today, it did happen. I so, couldn't believe it. Can some of y'all give your opinion on accepting returns versus not? This is Susan's question to the group. Um, I'm not going to go to LA. They have 14 cases of monkeypox. Yep. Nope. Not going. Um, uh, oh, you're welcome, Cynthia. Oh, my God. Will this work? Or this won't no. Work? We need, we need, need arms. Flat lay. No, that's flat lay. Flat lay. Um, Okay. Uh, we accept returns. Here's the thing. People gonna return. Yep. So if you don't accept it, they gonna find a way to return it. They're gonna give you an in ad, and then the eBay makes them return it, and then you get dinged. This is my opinion of human nature. So what they'll say is they'll say it wasn't as advertised. They'll get in with eBay, and then you get a ding on your account, and you gotta take the return anyway. So that's we take returns. The return shipping is minor. It's like three bucks. Pretty much no matter what, if it's clothing, it's like three dollars. Not what you pay to ship it there. I always thought that you had to return shipping. You had to pay that. It's not that. It's cheaper. eBay like worked out a little deal with the post office. So even if it's over a pound, it's like the the lowest first class rate or whatever. It's like I don't know what three forty four or something. I don't it's it's not a lot. It's under four bucks for sure. For sure, it's under four bucks. And even if it's like <coughs> a suit for us, it's still under four dollars for the return. And that's like three or four pounds a lot of times. So it's fine. We just do it. It's the cost of doing business. It's not our favorite part of the business. Okay. Was this two burgers? Oh, yeah. Half of that, probably. Yeah, I don't even know where this came from. <laughs> it must, I think it must have been a dollar. I would not have bought this. It's Parker, right? It's fresh produce. Oh, it's fresh produce. I mm -hmm. thought it was Parker. Okay. No. Nope. Yeah, then I would have bought it. I would have bought it. But probably half off. Yeah. $3.49 is the lowest rate, I think. Okay, cool. Tracy says, I won't buy from a seller that has no returns. Uh, James says, I do 60 day free returns and have under a 1% return rate. 60 day nice yeah tommy says not accepting looks like you have zero confidence in your item scamish if you will kind of agree cynthia has a bra getting returned right now <laughs> <laughs> um mm. jennifer found an escondor sweater at a texas thrift once right next to a double d ranch suede coat excellent score score <clears throat> Amanda says, whether you accept them or not by choice, you will most likely have to accept them anyway. Yep. I got that's exactly how I feel. And you'd rather take it like voluntarily versus being forced to. Yeah. Yeah, because then it hurts your metrics, I think. Yeah. Ruth says, I take returns, as you said, if they say it's not described, eBay will make you take it back, basically. So you all pay the return cost. So Susan, we pay the return Sometimes. cost. Almost all the time, but sometimes we don't. We pay it if it's our mistake, and normally the returns are because it's our mistake. <laughs> if something's wrong with the item, or if I listed it wrong, like we have something coming back today that I just listed the wrong size. That was my bad. Uh, and then if it's a fit issue, we just kind of wait. <laughs> this is what we do. We wait, and then if they ask for a return label or something, we'll kind of like try to figure it out. But normally it just charges them, and then they pay the three bucks or whatever. Yeah, if it's for fit, anything for fit or something. But if like that, they asked us to pay for the shipping, I think we would. 
but we kind of let we're just like we'll, we'll let them fix the glitch <laughs> you know what i mean we just kind of like ignore it and then the thing comes back to us i don't know i, I don't I, it, I think it definitely depends on the reason they, yeah they, it does they, they, it they. does it does I do okay. Tommy said I do buy or pay thirty. I don't think it hurts sales. It may a little, but I'm sure it depends on what you sell. True that. True that. Yeah, that's what we do. Buy or pays. Yeah, right. we do. But we do unless again, right? Unless if it's, it's if it's our fault, yeah, unless we goofed or something, and we sent them, it obviously, yeah, something obviously wrong that we didn't catch or whatever. So we went to the Texas surf on the 50 day. So Jennifer saying went to Texas surf <coughs> once on a half off day, never again. I waited in line for two hours. So we did that too. Yeah. And it would have been two hours, but I found a secret checkout at the jewelry counter. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. I was like, damn. So, and he was just browsing. I was like, get go, over there go now. right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's open. Go. <laughs> and then that's the, that's the checkout where he had the freak out. So remember when Dan had the freak out on, on the YouTube? <laughs> it was just like that, but it was like in public. And I'm like, <gasps> Stop. so we're at this secret checkout. The line is literally around the entire store. It's a huge store. Tracy, it's the one that we went to. The line is all the way back to the front door. So it goes all the way around the perimeter of the store. It literally is a two hour line. And I find the secret lady checking out purses at the jewelry counter. And I'm like, oh my God, I bet Dan, if he brought his card up here, he could check out. And so there's only one person in front of him and the dance starts checking out. And then he's like, he's like, I'm tax exempt. And the lady's like, no, you pay taxes. And he's like, oh no. <laughs> I'm like, shh, shh, stop it. Like I'm trying. And then by this time, there is a line forming behind him because people found out about the secret checkout. And I'm like, oh my God. And he's like, get the manager. And I'm like, so loud. I'm, I start walking away because, you know, I'm like, trying to hide like i don't want to be here i don't want to do this and she's like no just and you know whatever and he's like no it's in your <laughs> system and she's like do you have a form he's like no it's in the system screaming i am so, not stopping it stop so, no stop. it was so <laughs> <laughs> it was so loud so there was a little bit of a language barrier and then when that happens dan gets loud <laughs> he just says the same things in english louder <laughs> Come on. You did. I was, like, I was texting him. I'm like, yo, shh, shh. <laughs> Tracy said Dan is very serious with that tax exempt form. Well, here's the thing, Tracy. You watched us use that tax exempt form at that exact store. So they definitely had it. He wasn't wrong. It was just a time and a place. I'm like, just pay the $10 or whatever. <laughs> Let's go. No. He was not. He still <laughs> No. <laughs> and then it got to a point where we would wait like 20 minutes and we'd already waited that long. <laughs> like... And then You're in it at that point. So the manager comes, she finally does it, and then the receipt breaks. The receipt printer or whatever. It like timed out. We're like, oh my god. <laughs> I can't. I... Uh... Anyway, there's a secret <laughs> checkout. <laughs> Um, you're not like once they put it in their binder. The problem was that we were not the regular checkout where the binder was. <laughs> Nobody knows where the binder actually is. Nobody knows. Nobody checks. Nobody. <laughs> but this lady at the jewelry counter was not having it. She wanted. Neither was I. <laughs> Dan needs to bring a form with him every time, but he doesn't. We need to have like 17 in the car. We so used to, but then we use them all. We're gonna, we're gonna print them out. We're gonna print them out for tomorrow. Also. Okay. Stand up for your rights. <laughs> so along those lines, a Texas thrift, you're good at any store if you give them your tax and rate. Okay, no. Hold on. I gotta I gotta back up. In Texas, this is only for Texas people. I don't know about any other states. You have to apply for a reseller certificate. So it's through the state. It costs like fifteen bucks or something, twenty bucks. I don't know. It costs some kind of filing fee, I think. Yeah, you gotta file for it. There's a it's, you it's have not, to file it's not, it. It's not a reseller certificate, though. It's a permit. It's, it's called reseller something. Tracy, what's it called? Yeah. You got to file it. It's a special form, and then they will approve you, and then you can get a um, tax exempt form, and you put your number on it. 
but it, you can't just use your EIN number on a random tax exempt form. Like, you have to get in the system. Yeah. Oh my god, Tracy said no, you don't. Good lord. Tracy, what you doing? <laughs> are, you, are you forging documents? She said laugh out loud. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Not the tax form with the Texas flag background? No. No, it's a it's it's the same tax form you use for a nonprofit. Hey. Yeah, it's eight point two five percent. That is what it is here. It's crazy. Sales and use tax resale certificate. Sales and use tax resale certificate. Well, you have to file it with the state, except that Tracy says you don't. <laughs> you get a Texas sales and use tax permit number. That's what you get. It wasn't hard. No. Because the the point is, if you're reselling and you admit that you're reselling, you, you shouldn't have to be taxed twice on something. That's why they don't tax you. Right. And you have to you have to file quarterly sales tax sales and use tax reports. But it's $0. really really easy to do. Yeah. Because the platforms take care of all the sales tax for you. Yeah. So. Just the zero 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 zero. Unless you're doing Asterisk. That's only for Texas because we live here and I know that only in Texas. I know, right? <laughs> oh my God. Tommy said this is why Tracy's accountants quit her. <laughs> <laughs> we quit our account and we got a new one now. <clears throat> oh, wow. No tax in NYC on clothes and shoes if the item is under 100 bucks. That's awesome. Wow. No, Texas, they tax you on everything. 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 You try to get a cup of ice, they'd be like, that would be 8.25%. And you're like, dang. It's like 90 cent. No, no, dollar eight. It is really, it's serious. <laughs> and when you're buying like $200 of stuff, you're like, oh, okay, $200. And then you get it's like $250. And you're like, what? Because I'm from, um, what do you call it? Virginia. And it was only 4%, 4, 4.5% there. So coming here, it just seems so freaking expensive. Every time I went to the dang register, it's like, whoa. <laughs> I know, Tommy lives in Delaware, they don't have sales tax. We used to go there for back to school shopping. My mom would drive all the way up to the <laughs> She'd be like, kids, get in the car. <laughs> because they didn't have, like, when I was a kid, they didn't have those, those sales tax, like, relief days or whatever. Yeah. We would go all the way up to the outlets in Delaware. That's funny. <laughs> for that 4%. Four, four mm -hmm. Adds up. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um... Yes, you have to show and fill out the form at each thrift store that you go to. And some of them have a binder so that you don't have to fill it out every time. But some of them you do have to fill it out every time. Same these, you have to fill it out every freaking time. Own, it's their own form. Yeah. They, yeah. In Goodwill, a lot of them won't accept it. They'll be like, you're not in the binder. And you're like, well, can you put me in the binder? And they're like, mm, the boss not here. <laughs> Dang! So one time I got in the binder and I had to text Dan. I was like FaceTime and I'm like, I got in the binder. <laughs> <laughs> that was momentous. It is like a big deal when you get in a good. So we have like three Goodwills we can go to because we're in the binder, but all the other ones were not in the binder, so we can't go. I mean, we do go, but we have to text. <laughs> Annoying. All right, can you turn on the theme so I can start drafting? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she spent 163 on gas for a 78 El Camino to save 85 in tax. Okay, well, here's we had to go to the Amish country on the way, <laughs> so it was it was like multi step journey. I told you, my mom used to go to the Amish country. Mm -hmm. She'll she'll come on here and tell you she already has before. She's lurking already, you know it. She she like Amish oh, people. She come in here. <laughs> <laughs> No, they have some good outlets in Delaware, though, that's for sure. Oh, man. And my aunt, my great aunt, had a beach house in Rehoboth or something. And so we would kind of make it all this one big thing. Like, what is this? All right, this is fresh produce. I got a style number for you 21969. The number isn't coming. Up. Okay, try this skew number. Okay. A L S C V P R. No. I'm just gonna put embroidered. Is it a tunic? 
Yes. So, Nick. Oh. Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are you okay? I'm Danny, are you okay? <laughs> I'm great. Thank you for asking. I can't even, I don't even know what I'm doing right now. No. Why? I don't know. Anything. Dang it. Can we pick a bad one to start off? Yeah. <laughs> but it's so weird because none of the fresh produce stuff looks like that. That's why I thought it was Parker. It doesn't look like fresh produce. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like this. Right, I'll go with this one. Okay. What size is it? Uh, extra small. I gotta catch up on Can you do the comments real quick? Yes. This was actually two ninety nine, right? Yeah. Easy, staples, easy. Do you want me to do it? Three quarter sleeve. Uh, yeah, I think so. What's this here? <clears throat> Fifty five sixteen. Fifty five sixteen. Hey Donna. Um Dan's caught up with the comments in just one second. Hope you can help with priority mail. Yeah, we can help you. Totally. Kimono. Okay. What do we got happening over here? She left us a message or something, I think. We left a message on our shipping video earlier. Can she we help? left us a message. Yep. If it's uh, if you're talking about being able to resize the shoe box, yes, you can resize the priority mail boxes as long as it's not one of the flat rate or regional rate boxes. If it just says mailing box on it. You can resize them or combine them or do whatever you want to them. If that's not the question you meant, let us know. Okay. Um, I'm ready for the shoes. Okay. Oh my gosh, she reset hers is 9.5%. That's in California. Oh. Amber said, when we moved to North Carolina, I tried vigilantly, valiantly to demonstrate that living with no state income tax was cheaper. But unsurprisingly, it works out to be just about equal. Mm -hmm. Yep. They're going to get you somehow. Do you enter onto a spreadsheet every day that you list? We don't. Um, 
we import all of our listings into Vendu, and that kind of acts as our spreadsheet. There is a way. Your pictures are crooked again. It's killing me. Sorry. Um, and there's a way what? to export a CSV file from Vendu, and th these need to be fixed. I'm sorry. Okay. There's something like wrong. Look, you can't tell what it. The color or something is like blown out. You can't really tell what I'm looking at here. Something's weird about it. I know it's hard to take a picture, but maybe there's a filter in Photoroom. But also, um, eBay integrates with QuickBooks Pro online and QuickBooks Online. Right, but and that doesn't take into account our inventory as we listed. It. That was the question. Oh, sorry. No. So all of our inventory is stored in Vendu. So yeah. should something happen, we would just have to relist it all. It just serves as like a hub for us, and we do pay $60 a month for that hub and that service. But it also gives us, I, I do bookkeeping if you watch our other channel. I do bookkeeping every single day. I input our sales numbers so that I always know what's going on. Because Dan and I are a little bit flighty, if you haven't noticed. We're like two chill people. And so for two chill, like T-O-O, -O, chill, uh, things start to get out of hand. And when we first started reselling, we were not keeping daily books. And we were overpaying for items and things weren't selling fast enough or we were overpriced. We just didn't know what was going on. We had no idea. And until we started keeping everyday books, our business was it felt like it was like out of control. What, what, I mean, okay. It's a hard one. It's straighter, but I don't, I'm, okay, I'm and not sure what to do with the color. Could you, could you hand me the sure. device? Thank you. <laughs> You're trying to get it out of my hand. You're like, no, no. Hey, where are these filters? Oh, right here. Okay. No, I don't want light on. How do you turn light off? Where's the light off button? There is no light off. You have to go back. Whoa. Oh. There's the filters. Boom. A hundred percent better. Look at this F1 filter. Okay. Do you see it? How better it is? Kind of. See, that's okay. That's F one. F one's great. Yeah. It's great. Look at it compared. Okay, here I'll show you. None. See how it's all like, bleh, and it's like dark and ugly. Boom. Looks white. Looks crisp. I mean, it's still not the best. <clears throat> it's what we could do, but it does look a lot better. Okay. Like that. Thank you. I want you to make a video to explain which box goes in what. How do you know how much? I shipped two shoes, lost a lot of money from not knowing. Okay. So everybody in the chat is going to be very helpful to you right now. Um, Donna just started selling on eBay. Like, like, imminent like yesterday basically maybe like a week or two ago and i think we were all here donna you're not alone like all of us went through this and shoes are heavy we charge 12.99 to ship shoes and 15.99 to ship boots because we ship so many shoes that's how much it ends up costing and we use the shoe box or a regional box depending on where it's going Hey, David, how are you? David's here. Hey, David. How much do you have, Amanda? Because we switched to Vendo, and I think we had 1,500 things. It wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. It took a day. I'm just wondering if Donna set up her um, shipping policies. Your picture's coming in. Of all of them? Yep. Oh. Oh. Let's see if they come in. So, Donna, go back and watch our first eBay video. It'll show you how to set up the shipping policies. And it shows you exactly how much to charge. 
uh, with priority boxes, it's not necessarily the box for shoes. It's not, it's not, it's the weight. Um, and 1299 should get the job done for most shoes. 1599 for sure. If they're like heavy boots. Yeah. Because the medium flat rate box is yeah. like, <clears throat> what, like just under 14 bucks. Yeah. Say? So if nothing else, a medium flat rate for something really heavy, you can, so even if you charge a flat like 15 bucks for all shoes, it yeah. will get the job done. Yeah, because there's two configurations of medium flat rate boxes. There's like the tall, skinny ones, and then there's the shorter, more square ones. And you could easily fit a pair of boots into, or most boots and heavier shoes into those medium flat rate square boxes. Did y'all answer? No, I didn't answer. What's your question, babe? I didn't. I didn't. I didn't see your question. I'm sorry. Somebody asked a question. Maybe you're not a babe. No, maybe you're a guy. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, dude. I didn't I don't have my glasses on. I can't. I'm trying. <laughs> Man, look at this filter. Look how much better these pictures look. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> so much better. I was like, that that ain't gonna work. Ain't gonna work. Not having it. Um so the issue, yes, you can upload a CSV from your Excel street to Vendu. Yes, I don't know how to do that because it's spreadsheet. <laughs> the multi-quantity thing in Vendu continues to be an issue. So you can, it will import it. As long as you don't change it from eBay, you'll still have multiple quantities. When you sell it, though, you need to copy the listing again and sold. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, you have to copy it so it creates a new draft, and then you have to mark it sold, find the listing, the active listing, and recopy the URL and mark the draft as as active. It's it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing, but once you do it once, you're like, oh, okay, it's not that hard. It's not that hard. It's just tedious. And they keep saying they're gonna address it. It must be hard to do because they still haven't addressed it. Then they address a lot of other stuff. There, it's not like for lack of updates. We get updates every freaking day. <clears throat> So, and I, I'm not a Vendu, like, super fan. I'm a, it allows me not to do a spreadsheet, and it makes my job attainable for me. It's almost like having a training wheels or, like, um, an accommodation for a special need. It is accommodation for me. Because I, for some reason, I, I read spreadsheets backwards. I, I cannot look at that the way it's formatted. I, my brain, literally, the same thing with instructions. I have a really hard time with it. And I do think it's since my seizures that it's gotten much worse. But Vendu, I never have to look at a spreadsheet. I'm filling in fields in this like graphic format. And it makes it very much easier and attainable for me. So it's worth every penny of $60. Even if I never cross-listed another thing in my life. It's so worth it. For me. And Dan does spreadsheets, but he. <laughs> yeah, what is this? Throw Dan under the bus night? Come he on. can do spreadsheets, like, but he just won't. <laughs> <laughs> so he was in charge of the books for the first year. Whoa. <laughs> Where's that bag? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> we, yeah. hey, no, yeah. Put me full screen. Put me full screen. Put me full screen. Do it. Put me full screen. <laughs> <Nope. laughs> <me> full screen. <laughs> yeah, tell me when to full screen. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you came for. I'm telling you. All right, ready? Ready. This is our books from our first year. Do you want to see it? Well, this is the second half of the, before I took over. I was like, I can't handle it. This is our book. Dan was in charge, and these are all our receipts, price tags. <laughs> <laughs> Personal. <laughs> Stop it. I couldn't. I couldn't do it. I was like, absolutely not. And then he kept saving these little tickets. Where are the tickets? <laughs> I can't. And people are like, why are you paying sixty dollars for a venue? That's why. <laughs> Did I throw them away? I must have gotten so mad. Oh, there's a calculator in here. Oh. Anyway. That's how that went down. You leave me alone. No, it was funny. <laughs> All right, sorry, John. We were trying to help you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. You guys work out of a closet. Maybe it was a 
fortuitous comment you made of it in the other channel, but I believe in any case, are you planning on alternatives or staying indefinitely? Oh no, we're going to stay here indefinitely. We do work out of a closet. It's a very large closet, it's like a Mariah very... Carey size closet. You know what I mean? But yeah. it's still a closet. The only awkward thing about it, and we have a, a office tour on our channel. If you want to actually see the whole thing, the most awkward thing about it, because it, it's great to work in, is that it's on our master bedroom. So to get into a, <laughs> you, you, can't, to, you can't even say it. You have to walk through our master bedroom, past our bed, past our dressers, into the closet to um, chip stuff. <laughs> so no one has ever seen our closet in real life because I have someone staying in my house right now that hasn't seen my closet because they have to go through my master bedroom and it's so freaking awkward. But yeah, no, we're planning on staying forever. It's it's maxed out. We have storage in here and everything. It's great. We love it. And we don't have to pay for it. That's the best part. And Texas doesn't have basement, so what are you going to do? It's not like we, oh, we're going to upgrade to a house with a basement. No. Not going to happen. No basements. There are no basement in the Alamo. That's right. <laughs> Don't you know anything? Oh. Oh, you're so sweet, Alicia. Thank you. So I thought flat rate, but you were saying calculated rate is better, but how to... No, 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 Donna. No, 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 no. We're not saying calculated rate is better at all. No. We are saying... Wait, don't confuse Donna, y'all. No calculated. No. No, no, no. It is... There's room for error. Tommy's saying he lives on the East Coast and he charges twelve ninety nine for shoes. Total. That's it. Every pair of shoes he ships out is twelve ninety nine. We like I said, we charge twelve ninety nine as well. We live in the middle of the country, right? And that's fine, except if it's like cowboy boots. If it like you pick it up and you're like, whoa, and then we charge fifteen. Yeah. I know it seems overwhelming. You will get the hang of it. I promise you. Right, and that's that's what the buyer pays us. Yeah. What we pay the post office is going to vary, and sometimes it's less, and sometimes it's more, and depending on a couple like, of. Yeah. The most we'll ever lose is like a buck or two. Yeah. If we're shipping something to like Maine or Seattle and it's the heaviest pair of boots we've ever shipped in our life. Right. It's rare. It's very it's rare. It's very rare. And in that case, we're like, yeah, two bucks, like, whatever. But we charge a flat rate. And this is not to be confused with a flat rate box. Right. Because a flat rate box, if you're using a large flat rate, it's like 20 bucks. It's expensive. So you need to make sure that your priority boxes are, can you show her the difference? Yeah. Not a flat rate box. Flat rate postage, not a flat rate box. I can see how that's confusing to you though. Yeah, it'll just say, it'll just say mailing box. Right there. And that's right. the one we, we recommend you buy, you order, the shoe box. Yeah. And, and you can cut this down and resize it if you want to yep it's totally okay and then you just put in the dimensions if it's over a pound which most shoes are uh we did exclude puerto rico and hawaii but i turned it back on for first class so we exclude puerto rico and hawaii for anything over a pound because we got burned burned <laughs> wasn't having it sick burn <laughs> we did if, if you get scammed and you're sending something heavy over there and then you got to pay for the return shipping, they're not as kind. And you do have to pay a lot more. Also, eBay shipping is scary to lots. It's okay to freak out and cry. Yeah, because they do give you a lot of options. Like, you click, you know, once you... Yeah, and so Melissa Osborne is a very, very seasoned reseller, but she's just starting on eBay, too. And half of her holdup with eBay, I think I'm putting words in your mouth, Melissa, but, like, what is shipping right packaging and knowing how to ship and charge exactly you know ebay shipping is why i hate ebay exactly but then i what i'm trying to say is once you in it for like a month hey. it's fine you don't even think about it anymore like we're not like oh god i just ship. we used to be we used to be like oh my god we just shipped three things for ebay like what are we even doing <laughs> <laughs> It would take us like an hour to ship three things. Oh. It's, it's true. <laughs> we would be so nervous when the eBay orders came in. We are like, oh, God. But that's why 
we do the shipping videos every day. So you can just watch enough of them. And we try to explain each step over and over and over and over and over again. So you can get comfortable as we are doing it. Because you're going to be like, oh, they just put this t-shirt in a poly mailer. Okay. And I tell you how much we charge for shipping on every single item I try. I'm like, okay. And they paid $4.99 for shipping. And they paid $12.99 for shipping. So you can kind of get it comfortable with it. Hopefully it's working. I think some of you it's worked. But it does take practice. It's not easy. I'm a four. All day. Every day of four. <laughs> I'm the fouriest four you ever met in your life. And they're not the best kind of people. I'm sorry that I'm a four sometimes. But I'm a four. I don't, a two. I'm, apparently I'm a two. <laughs> <laughs> In the two is two as well. All right. But they seem bigger. It's a, the size normally won't matter with a pair of shoes on it, but you can cut them down. But it, it's not going to save you a bunch of money. It's the weight before it, because shoes are like. Where does Donna live? Oh, yeah. Where do you live, Donna? We just throw some air pockets or some packing paper in with the shoe box because it takes some time to cut it down. So we just. True. We just stuff it. Jennifer's the oneiest one ever. <laughs> <laughs> she lives in California. Okay. So you're going to need to charge a little bit more, but twelve ninety nine should get it done. For first class, you might want to charge five ninety nine for anything under a pound. But other than that, our shipping prices, and I think in the the eBay video we did say yeah five ninety nine for most people. Enneagram is a personality test. Highly recommend it. I'm pretty specialized in it right now. I was like obsessed with it a week ago. <laughs> I'm looking up everything. I was obsessed. Obsessed. Right, what, what did we just list? What is this? Uh, it's the Johnny Was thing. Did you make a draft? I don't know. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my god. What size is it and all this stuff? I need I need an info. It's small. Number? 5517. Hence the cape! <laughs> Megan, you just call me out so hard. Oh my god, you call me out so hard. What happened? So. Oh, you're tight too? You chill like Dan? You the, you the lover? Not the fighter. Um, fours are known to be uh, very empathetic yet very dramatic. Mm -hmm. And I'm a four that leans five, which means I'm an introvert, an introverted four that parades around as an extrovert, like on YouTube. Hey. <laughs> but the bad part about fours do is do not approach in person. No, don't talk to me in person. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Three quarter sleeves on the thing? Um, on the Johnny Wise, yeah. yeah, I think so. Yeah. And anyway, they're just known for being very, very self indulgent and dramatic. So it's not the best number to be. Shut up! You shook your head at that. What? No, like, at yeah. three quarter sleeves. <laughs> I was just looking I said at the picture. Self indulgent and dramatic, and you were like, yeah. no, no, I was just. <laughs> <laughs> that was just unfortunate timing. <laughs> Oh gosh. What do you put in the listening about questions? I don't know. I put 
unknown. Is that okay? Some of those questions are dumb. You do not have to fill out everything, Donna. Don't, it's, unless it says required, then don't fill it out. Most of the ones that say required, you'll know the answer to those. I'll show you in just a second. So I don't know if you're on the new listing tool or whatever, but where it says required right here, these are the ones you have to fill out in its color department. You'll know those. These additional ones, you don't have to fill out a single one if you don't want to. Like I'm not filling out these. I don't know what kind of neckline it is. I already forgot. And then the sleeve type. Oh, it's a bell sleeve. I might fill it in <laughs> now that I see it. Ready for Janani was. Um, what's your Myers Briggs? I'm an INFJ and the most INFJ you've ever met in your life. I've taken the test at least 10 times. Like every single professional development for being a teacher, you have to take the test. And they're like, you're not a really an INFJ every time. <laughs> it's a very, very rare personality type because it's like, like I said before, an introvert that parades around as an extrovert. It's an, you can't get your head around it. Like when I meet people in real life, they cannot believe I'm an introvert. And I am an introvert. Like Gretchen has been at my house for almost a week and I have not seen her. <laughs> I have not laid eyes on her. I can't believe I just said that out loud. Isn't that terrible? <laughs> See, Gretchen's not a seven. Melissa would be all up in here. She would bust out of here. She'd be at that door like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> no, Melissa would bust in this office. She'd be like, I'm coming in. I'd be like, no, you have to look at my master bedroom. She'd be like, I don't care. <laughs> I'd be under your desk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got caught out of the in service for your Myers break. Oh my gosh. Oh, INFP. That's funny. That's that's very similar to me. Because I'm, I'm a judgy bee. <laughs> Just true. Try not to be. Not like good quality. <clears throat> <laughs> Your person Cynthia's personality has changed as she got older. She don't give a S. <laughs> H I T. Mm -hmm. I can't I can't say bad words because Megan's kids. I'm I i remember Megan. Alright, here's this. List it. Oh, you judgy too. See, that's why we get along. Judgy McJudgerson's over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got an opinion on everything, I'll tell you. Why am I like this? <laughs> <laughs> Come on with it and let it fly. I always wonder why old people are grumpy. Oh, oh my god. Am I? No, no, no. Cynthia said that. Oh, yeah. Christy and Melissa, you guys are like sisters. Wait, Melissa, go watch one of Christy's videos. You'll, you'll think that's your sister. You guys look and act the same. I know both of you. What's your YouTube? Is it Christy found it? No, it's me about real estate or something. Girl, I didn't know. But anyway, Melissa Osborne, go watch Christy's videos. And you're going to be like, that's my long lost sister. And then you're going to need to do a DNA test and make sure. And then I'll <laughs> analyze the result. <laughs> Amy will find the link. The missing link. Oh, I'm not supposed to tell anyone yet. <laughs> Sorry. Wait, you said it in a live before. I think everyone already knew. Bye, David. Have a great evening. Thanks for coming by and hanging out. <laughs> said, my dad was a host, so anything is possible. <laughs> Stop. Stop it. That's yeah. too much. That's <laughs> so funny. <laughs> All right. What is this? Oh, dang on Vince wool and cashmere sweater. I think there's a draft. Oh, yeah. yeah. 70 cent percent? Yeah. I do have a style memory that I just found. You ever hear of five love languages? That's another important self reference. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Danza's quality time. He's never taken the test. I'm just telling you because I'm a four. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's gifts. <laughs> it doesn't really work out. <laughs> Dan is the worst at gifts. He's so bad. Oh, that's true. I'm terrible. I'm terrible. He's so bad. What size is it? But he's got great charm. <laughs> <laughs> By small, royal blue, seventy percent long, got long sweep slip sweater top. He does try. Oh, I have to tell him what to do though. Okay, what's the number? <laughs> Fifty-five eighteen. I'm like, buy me this. It just doesn't have the same ring though. Oh yeah, the Oklahoma City Bend. You said small, right? Mm -hmm. There's no holes there, huh? Nope. Nope. Oh yeah, his needs are met. Don't worry, quality works well. For him when you guys are working together see that's quality time spent and working it's like double double duty i mean he makes me coffee you know what he does do instead of gifts he makes me food and i'm a Taurus, <laughs> so it's like way better than i mean foods are gifts to me and he makes look at this coffee he made me today and it's salted caramel or however you say this word in wherever you're from <laughs> i tried to say it all fancy like the caramel <laughs> Remember that time I was like, heck call. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're in Virginia, we say caramel and pecan. <laughs> and in Texas, I have to like put on the Texas voice. I'll be like, heck call. <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> like, it's a pecan. Stop it. <laughs> no. Wrong. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm crying. Oh, here we go again. I'm crying. Always crying. Making food is acts of service. Yeah, but he'd give it to me as a gift. <laughs> I'm still gifts. I don't know. I do like acts of service, though. That's true. He just shows up with food. Yes. It's service. Yeah, no. It's a service. That's actually. They're saying that that's an act of service, right. which is one of the five love languages. But I think my love language is gifts. Yours is, yes. Right, but I'm saying I am equally as happy with receiving food that you have cooked right. it kind of as a gift. Out, right? <laughs> right? Yeah, I get it, yeah. <laughs> so maybe my second love language is acts of service. I do recognize that. Maybe that's what that's going on there. I don't know. What is in that coffee, y'all? Yeah, nothing. Salted caramel. <laughs> Two pumps. Two pumps. Sugar free. Sugar free. Do you think that thing can go first class? Can you weigh it? Cashmere is light. It's very light. Oh no, Susan said my husband complains so much about my cooking, I quit. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. This is a very good question, Alicia. She said, so when you go to the estate sale tomorrow, are you going to check the sell-through rate on everything before you get it? No. <laughs> if it, Not if it's something that we know. And this is what happened at the last one. I'll kind of go over it because I think we have new people here. Yeah. So we bought like 400 pieces of clothing. Hey, Karen. Uh, from an estate sale. And it was all Eileen Fisher, Eskandar, Izzy Miyake, Bryn Walker. It was all brands that we were very familiar with. We bought everything because they were giving us hella deals. So the entire lot ended up being $3.08 per piece. A lot of it was stained. A lot of it needed repairs. And we've been working our way through that. We did not comp a single thing. Because they were giving us like crazy deals. And so we were like, okay, we know all these brands. If we are about, and it was only three bucks a thing. But if we're about to spend like. I'm all looking inside. And he's like, hey, come here. And he was not. And I'm like, and so he didn't know these brands. And no. so they're all in these clothing racks outside and in the garage. And I'm like, um, 
skin and he's like and i'm trying not to like be too excited about because there are other people just regular shopping not reselling and then the ladies there writing tickets for people so i didn't want her to know of my excitement so that she would give us a deal right and i'm like um dan I'm like, yeah i'm like we need to get all of this and he's like what i'm like all of what i'm like no i'm like as much will fit in the car and he's like what he could not believe it and then i started showing him brands and i'm like this is a five thousand dollar sweater and he's like oh so we started talking with the lady and she was like yeah just once the boss leaves we can make a deal so we went two days in a row the second day we went and bought stain things which we maybe shouldn't have done i did i have gotten stains out of a lot of it but it's been a lot of work but that first day man we our car was I mean, we couldn't fit another piece of clothing in that car. It was stacked to the... Th- it was nuts. And we had her leave them on the hangar, so that was great. Uh-huh. Very nice. It was a nice... Okay, I can take the pictures now. Stand by, please. <laughs> That's true. Gifts should work out, too, considering all the sourcing opportunities. The loyal guardian. I love that for you, Amanda. I love that. Karen, what's your Enneagram? <laughs> We're at therapy right now. Pictures coming in. Susan, at least you don't have to cook anymore. It's kind of good. Is that like a little flaw that we can just kind of need to yeah, you just need to clip it. Yeah, clip it. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> what is oh Jennifer's taking it again. Okay, I'm interested to see what you are. Yeah, that's what I feel weird too, Alicia. She felt weird comping in front of everyone at an estate sale. I feel just, I don't like doing it. Because then, I don't know, I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Even though I'm not, I'm buying the stuff that they're selling. It just feels weird. I don't like it. I feel like I missed a thing. I guess I didn't. What is this? This socks are on this, yeah. Uh, thermal fluff on it. Yeah. Bien Fleur? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's is your that, is that one. You sh- oh, no, it's not. This is the Mara Waffle Knit. Birdie, birdie. This is the Mara Waffle Knit tunic. I'm oh, sorry. i excited. Hey, Randy, how are you? Oh, Susan's husband is Cajun. But he's a great cook. And she grew up in the South. I freaking love Cajun food so much. Susan, oh we're God. coming to your house. Except that I'm an introvert, so I'll sit in the car. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what happened. I think they have just go. <laughs> I love it. I love being married to an extrovert. Love it. He does everything I don't want to do. It's so perfect. Like, go back there and ask. <laughs> Yeah. What's that? It's cute. Isn't Extra it? small. It's cute. In it. It's cute. Was that long sleeve? Is that curling? Um, no. I don't think that's a full. Sleeve. Oh yeah, no, it's like a 
half or something. What's happening? What's the number? 5518. 518. Do you ever have garage sales yourself with bad buys, low sell through rate items? I remember the video when you cleared out your hallway and redonated items. We have never had a garage sale, mainly because I'm an introvert. I'm so embarrassed. Like, I, I couldn't. Dan would have to run it. I just. I don't want anyone in my yard. I, I, <laughs> anyway. Also, we live on a busy street, and it would have to be in our driveway, which is, like, in the back of our house. We don't really have a yard to do a yard sale. I don't know how that would work. We'd have to just open up the gate, right? Yeah. But no one could park. Right. Be, mm-hmm. yeah, be, I don't know how we... And plus, I'm just so embarrassed. I can't even think about it. Oh, don't make me think about it. <laughs> I'm just like, just donate it off. Just take it to the Goodwill. So if we stop taking our stuff to the Goodwill, then we won't take it. So we have to take it to St. Vee's now. Fine. I'd rather to go to St. Vee's, actually. And they don't, like, go through it and tell you what they won't take. They just take everything. Remember Goodwill was like, no toys! And we're like, whoa! Yeah, that was very weird. And he was so mean. The guy at Goodwill was like, I mean, I'm sure it's just this one Goodwill, but he was really mean. We're like, we're giving you free stuff, bro. Like, why are you coming at me? Of course, I was sitting in the car. <laughs> <laughs> he was coming after Dan, not me. It was weird. It was very strange, yeah. <laughs> hey, Krillin, talking to my grand members in Cajun food, <laughs> as you do. I've had such bad luck with garage sales, buying and selling. Me too. <laughs> Susan says I have to come in. Oh, I'll try. I'll try. Normally, if I know a person, I'm fine. Like when Tracy and Danica came up, it was fine. I think it was fine. It was fine. The number for the self surroundings is actually 5519. Okay, 5519. Um, teaching, this is why I never, uh, this is why I quit teaching because I, I taught 18 hours a day. I would do play rehearsal until like 9, and then I would work at the school until midnight in the quiet to like decompress. And then I would go home and get six hours of sleep and do it all over again. I just never had any time because I could not sleep. I couldn't decompress enough because I'm so exhausting talking in front of people all day. I could, like, even when I get off this live, it takes me four hours to decompress. Like, I, we don't go to bed till one o'clock in the morning. It takes so, so, so much out of me. That's why when we go until 10.30, Dan doesn't like it, I think, because then we're up till, like, 2 a.m. I cannot calm down. I guess not calm down. It's what, what do you call it? Regen- rejuvenate or whatever? What's the word? Refer- recover recover <laughs> recharge recharge but i do love doing these lives i don't hate it at all i love it and i love doing our youtube videos it just takes a while to like recharge. <laughs> Pull out that high ponytail and hide under oh. an enormous cape. That's what I do. That's right. <laughs> Melissa Osborne said, You will be shocked to know I love garage sales. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. They say opposites attract, and I just love Melissa Osborne so much. Because we're so opposite. I love it. You'd be talking to everybody at the garage show, you'd be up in their house. <laughs> Mind if I use your bathroom? <laughs> I went ahead and poured myself a glass of tea. I would die. <laughs> I can't even imagine. Pictures. Yeah. Oh yeah, Karen. I take heavy amounts of melatonin. Um, I take heavy amounts of melatonin, and it does make me sleepy. It just takes a while. So if I take it too soon, y'all don't need to know this about me, but I'm going to share it. If I take it too soon, I can't sleep and I'm just completely groggy, but my mind is still racing, so I can't actually get sleepy. Mm-hmm. So I can't take my melatonin until around 11, 11.30. And then I can finally like get sleepy from it. And it takes about an hour and a half to two hours to put me out. But I take a lot of it, don't I, Dan? Oh, yeah. Big old one. Heavy you know what, dose. It's supposed to help with COVID, like your antibodies ah. or whatever. No, they're doing studies on it. Heavy doses of melatonin. And I'm like, oh, I got that. 
been doing that for a while anyway. <laughs> I've been training for this. <laughs> Jennifer doesn't like um, yard sales either. Well, all these, obviously, because you're from Dallas, our yard sales are wackadoo here. But I'm best friends with introverts, so I'm very careful with my friends. <laughs> I know most of them always like, we'll find you a gluten free restaurant in a quiet corner. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, friend. My actual best friend on the planet is the most, she's a seven too. She's like the most extroverted person you ever meet in your whole life. Oh my God. Oh, like, right? Well, like, for sure. Never met an, anybody, a stranger. Never, ever. <laughs> and um, she she's the same finally way. finally accepted your LinkedIn request today. I saw the email come across. Oh, good. Um, she's very, very sensitive to my needs. It's great. It's so great. I'm never in a place where I don't want to be with her. She's always, like, thinking ahead of time. Like, oh, I wanted to invite you to this party, but I knew you would hate it, so I didn't. And here's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> <Perfect>. <laughs> <laughs> but she knows I want to know the deets, you know? So she'll call me in. Oh, no, you would have hated it. I, that's why I didn't invite you. But I know you want to know all about it. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it's a real friend. All right, what is this? Oh, the, 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 Ooh, sleepy time tea. That's a good one, too. The barley. I drink so much tea, you guys. It's so good. Yeah, okay. How big? What size is it? Small. So it looks like a small mead. I think it has like two sizes. Yeah, S dash and small dash. I have never found a church sale in my life. I would love to find a church sale because everybody gets these good deals, like those big warehouse. I mean, we have warehouse churches in Texas. Where are the sales? Somebody need to tell me if you see a sale. Bruce said, I hate garage shows. They take forever to do, and everyone wants everything for free. Going, I hate, because I hate asking people how much they want for something. I hate that too, Ruth. It's so awkward. They don't care. Look at him. He does not care. I don't understand how he just doesn't care. I don't care. He doesn't. If I am holding something, I feel like I have to buy it, because I don't want to insult them by being like, it's not good enough. Like, uh, and then they don't put prices on things. This is like a new thing because when we had yard sales back in the day, you had to put a little stickers, you know, from the Walmart. You had to put stickers on everything right. to price it. Nobody priced anything anymore. They just put it on a blanket in the front yard, and they're like, so it said a dollar per pants. This is the the last yard sale we went to. They had blankets <laughs> of pants, and it said a dollar per pants. And then when we bring up all these pants, they were like, oh, not those ones. And we're like, what? And then on the tag in the inside of the pants, they had written with a sharpie like five or ten or twenty dollars but they were on the blanket with the dollar pants and they wrote a sharpie on the tag which makes me not able to resell it i was like so we end up getting nothing which is like really remember that? i do remember that it's annoying yeah it was because we were about to buy a ton of stuff yeah. and so they were just left at the it was at the end of the day too it was like three o'clock because we don't get up early so they're just gonna, like, <laughs> get up early <laughs> so what they're just gonna like leave you know keep the stuff instead of get rid of it Okay. Okay. Have fun with that. Oh, you won one, lost one. Which one did you lose? I'm talking about Poshmark cases. Wait, you said small, medium? Yep. Oh, there's a dress. I, I know. I was oh, okay. just making sure it's the right size. <clears throat> Five five two zero. Yeah, how do you find these church sales? Everyone's agreeing they don't know where the church sales are either. <laughs> oh, Janice had me follow in this group called Jesus Shed. <laughs> Jesus Shed? Yes, and now I'm in this stupid Jesus Shed group. And um I thought there was gonna be church sales. No. They have something we can ship to you, and it's all overpriced. But it's always coming up on my Facebook. <laughs> Just leave, bro. Follow. I know, but I, I can't figure out how to do it. Every oh, time I'm Lord. like, let me get out of this group. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus shed. <laughs> I should have known. Good, it's a good band name. I know. <laughs> 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 Melissa Osborne said I just spit all over my computer. <laughs> 
you think I'm lying? Look it up. There's a group called Jesus Shed. <laughs> and I joined it because Janice told me they talk about church sales. <laughs> yeah, you got had. They're on Facebook Marketplace. What is it? It just says, does it say? Okay, hold on. I'm going to look. Sneaky, sneaky, Varley. They're hiding this tearaway tag in the hard room. Is it the right size and everything? Yeah. Who wants that in your armpit? I think it's like in the armpit. Hey. Get back here. Jennifer said, yep, still a one. I like ones. Uh, the bidding, I spent $1,200 on poly mailers and bubble, bubble mailers. And yeah. we have to go pick them up tomorrow, and it's not going to fit in our card. And a couple of boxes. And some boxes. A lot of boxes, actually. 12 by 10 by 10s. Not the armpit. Shoulder. But still, why would you want that? Rummage sale. Okay, I'm going to look up rummage sale. Oh, Lord. Well, we have to go to this other estate sale tomorrow. Yeah, we do. It opens at 9.30, but we need to go early. Not 9.30. But, like, you know what I mean? Oh, uh, yeah. That's my thing. Changes everything. Okay, what am I doing? Rummage sale? Yep, that's what you're doing. Rummage. Rummage sale. Near me. <clears throat> Just a bunch of hoarders. <laughs> Not what we need. Multi-family garage sales. I don't believe in those. Every mm -hmm. time I go, it's like disappointing. Nothing. Yes. Same with neighborhood yard sales. No. Nope. Yep. The whole neighborhood's turning out. To no, they're not. Yeah. Stop it. <laughs> All right, so I only have I don't have those. Maybe there's none. Church sale, church. Let me put church. Yes, we are doing a what sold tomorrow, but maybe nothing will sell because it's Thursday, and it's very difficult. For I don't know, we don't make sales on Thursdays. We maybe could do a haul video. Yeah, we might have to do a haul video. If nothing sells. We've only sold one thing. Ooh. Yeah. We're good. Churchwide garage sale. Where's Sass? Sasha? <laughs> Saxy. Saxy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, how do we make these sounds? Shish. Shish shaw. All right, New Heights Baptist Church in Wiley. That's, that's a little rummagey. Uh, that's like north, that's like as far north as Plano, but. Oh, I've been to Wiley because then we bought a truck. Yeah. I don't know. It doesn't look like there's any huge ones or anything. <laughs> Shut up. Those are weird letters to put together. They that are. Way. Yeah, it, it, I didn't know how to pronounce it at first either. I'm not going to lie. Like, how huh? Oh, all right. Okay. See, the dog doesn't know either. You ready for pictures? Oh, you sold a Christmas blanket today. I love that. A lot of Christmas stuff has been selling. And Jen says, I don't blame you. I can't pronounce that. Or Waxahachie. Uh, I know Waxahachie. I know that because that's where Janice lives. <laughs> that's the only reason I know. Okay. Coming in. Yeah, we might. That's a good idea, Alicia. We might have to do both in one. Like daily grind style. Uh oh. I know. We're told not to do daily grind videos. <laughs> Just started doing that again. Sorry. There are some people who want them, want them back with, with coffee intro and all. Uh oh. It's just very hard to separate the facts. Like everybody wants the fabric videos, but they're buried. I hate that. Yeah, we gotta either redo those or cut them or something. Cut. 
didn't like doing this. It was a lot of work. What's this? Next. Figs? Figs. You, you got, this is the right one for sure. With the right style you mean? Yeah. Or? It says Caribbean blue. That doesn't look like the Caribbean to me. Okay. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm just wondering like this comp, what should I keep from it? Yeah, because it's the, I remember looking at the style number. It's the same. But the color, I'll just put navy blue. Yeah. I don't know if it's a special color. I don't it know doesn't look it. like Caribbean blue. Caribbean yeah. would be like teal. Yeah, probably. I've been there. <laughs> I've been there! What is F1-1100? FW-1100? It's the style number. Okay. And there's a cut number also. I don't know if that matters. Yeah, I don't want that. It's just this said the part of Arkansas you do not want to live in. I live in Florida now. Oh. <laughs> oh, fabric? I didn't see any fabric. I saw the stuffing. Because I joined late, remember? I was like, we were like an hour late. They had like polyfill. I didn't I didn't fit on any of that though. What size is this? Small. Fifty-five twenty-one. Yeah, I do want to make those fabric books. I'll see what they have tomorrow when we go. I'm still trying to decide if we should take our car or go try to empty the van. Because the problem is we can't get to the garage right now. Emptying the van is like not really an option. Right. Unless we just get rid of everything that's in it. Yeah, you're not going to want to do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we can take trips that are right? Because it's two days. Yeah. So, like, we wouldn't have to do it twice in one day. Yeah. And again, it's not that far. It's, you know, it's like going to the, probably you know, close to the Toyota music place. Mm. I so, said third giant. That's less clean. <laughs> I love it. Las Colinas. I thought we were going to Irving. It's the same. Um, I mean, I just said, anyone here dumpster dive? And she capitalized it. I love this so much. I love this question. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real question. I love it. <laughs> no, but I wish I did. I used to watch his Ulta dumpster videos on YouTube. People would dumpster dive at the Ulta. I should start watching those again. And the cops would come. <laughs> the skate. It was very entertaining. Melissa Osborne, I was gonna say. She can always chime in here, raise his hand, sorta. Melissa got her own shopping cart in her truck. That's hardcore. I know. I love that you can read through the bins. I love it. I'm thinking about getting one of those like wagons, you know? Collapsible wagons. Go to the bin sucks here. God. Yeah, why is it gonna be so funny? They don't have carts in Colorado either, the ones we went to, but you could at least leave your stuff on the side. Yeah. You can't leave your stuff on the side here. So once you're in the bins, you holding everything. Care everything. They did let us keep some artwork that was like in heavy frames one time behind the thing. We weren't happy about it though. I mean, I guess. <laughs> like what what do you want me to do with it? Carry those around. That's what you gotta do. I've been watching videos. My husband has made a ton from dumpster diving at the Harbor Freight. That was before his heart failure, though. So I'm so sorry about his heart failure. Is he like on? Is he gonna transplant or is he on medicine or something? Okay, anyway, overshare. Um, that's weird at Harbor Freight because I wouldn't think of chemo because their stuff isn't that high end there. I I shop there and I don't want to lie, right? <laughs> 
every air compressor we own from the Harbor Freight. But I just wondered, how does he make the money? Where does he sell it? I'm interested. Yo, Dan did that, and, and then they yelled at him so hard. Oh, we just sold one more thing. Two more things. Three more things. All right, y'all. Oh, God. It's oh, people on this God. Line. It's gonna be. <laughs> They're like, do a video. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Um, Thank you. I, I don't know who just brought that, but a lot of it's a me. A lot of things. Um, Dan did go to the Goodwill and then bring it over to the other side, and they had a flip out. It was when... um. Gretchen and Janice were there with us, I think. Oh, the carts? Yes. Yeah. The dude, like, chased me out into the parking lot. Hey! You can't, you can't bring that over there. I'm like, okay, sorry. You're like, dude, I, well, what are you supposed to do? So the carts... It's like a bunch of this on the inside. Kiss. Well, that's weird, isn't it? It's a white out or something. <clears throat> Mysterious paint on the inside of things. I don't know what to do. Maybe it's laundry detergent. You know, you yeah. know what I mean. Yeah. Okay, I think it's laundry detergent. Should I wash it? Yeah. We have many air compressors. <laughs> <laughs> Chrissy's cracking up because I said every air compressor we have. <laughs> I work in the theater, darling. This is not the right pictures. What am I doing? Um, we have so many air compressors. <laughs> we have one to fill the car, and then I had one for theater, and then when we merged together, we each had an air compressor. I don't know. Maybe we have two or three. We sold a wool blazer. Come on now. Okay. All right. He's doing good. He had open heart surgery where they attach a pump to his heart so he has to carry batteries. Everywhere he goes to keep his heart pumping, but it's going good. Oh, perfect. Does he need a portable oxygen? <laughs> Seriously, yeah. Anybody need portable oxygen? It's a very good unit. Very good unit. <sighs> God. What if you brought something small on the side and pretended to go to your car and just brought it on that side? That's what he did. It was the people at the bins that got on him because they look different, the carts. I guess they weigh a different amount, and so he was like now have it, having it. Oh, Harbor Freight has people buy stuff, use it once, and then they return it and throw it away. Yeah, I've done that before. Sorry. Sorry, Harbor Freight. Definitely have done that. When in the theater, when you don't have any money, you need a tool for one thing. Okay, pictures? Yeah. Pigs. Oh, Susan hasn't just got a pacemaker. Is it helping? That's good. You didn't accept the offer? What offer? Whose offer? Someone coming at you? What do you need an air compressor for? What are you doing? <laughs> Still in the air compressor. So you hook up your nail gun or your brad gun? Yeah, you can get pneumatic tools for it. The greatest <laughs> thing ever. Good. Dan loves <laughs> He loves making sound effects. Mm. Yeah, can... The guy in Police Academy is my hero. Oh, he's so good. Meeps the beeps and his face balls. Yeah. yeah. Um, the you can fill up your tire with air. We use it for paint guns mostly, uh, airbrushing and spray painting, staining. You can use it for a lot of things. It's very loud though. Wait, why? What are you doing now? Why don't you just keep going with the lady? You're all good. I don't think I've got more stuff right there. Yeah. We're ready, ready. You made one short right here. I said, why are you starting in the middle of the rack? That's weird. I started back here. All that stuff was back here. Well, you were supposed to organize it. Yeah, see, what happened was. I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So when I went to the Dallas one, I had to look in the parking lot to find a random abandoned one. Yeah, sometimes that happens. They do abandon them, but not often. These people stay all day. All day. Oh, for the oxygen machine. We didn't take the offer. I don't know if Dan ever got back to that guy. 
I sent him a message, but he has not responded. What did your message say? I asked him if he could come up a little bit. <laughs> You're like, bruh. Just be like, my wife just bought twelve hundred dollars worth of stuff. I'll trade you this oxygen for these polygons. <laughs> That's what you should do. <laughs> what are we doing now? What is this? Oh, wait, you didn't send me pictures. Yes, I did. Figs? Yep. 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 There we go. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. We just look at the dock. Trying to lighten them up a little bit, buddy. I'm gonna turn the lights on when you do dark stuff. Okay, then we have the lights blown out. Did you try it at all? <laughs> 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 I just like to say it every time. Just. Just every day. Lights on. What is that? Oh, that's the logo. Two. What? This is silly, but I'm on four sales off of keeping Ambassador 2 status that expires in seven days. It's silly because it means nothing, but I'm an achiever that likes to check things off. Oh, I am like that. We are also on the posh marks. Put your store in the um, group. I mean, put your closet in the group. He will buy stuff. Tell him you need, you're in an emergency situation. <laughs> you're in a posh ambassador to emergency. <clears throat> I think I might have free money on posh. Oh, yeah, I think we do. I think we have a couple bucks on Posh Free. Do it. No shame. No rules. Come buy something from your scope. Yeah. We'll do it. I will do it. We'll browse it while we're watching TV tonight. Yeah, that's true. Send a lot of offers. Oh, you're out of town. Okay. Your customer service won't be the best. <laughs> I love it. I love that you said this. All right, what is this thing? The beta brands? Yes. You drug all over the floor. Hey. Uh, are these the yellow pant work pant? Okay. Yeah, the ambassador too. They should have done something better for that, like lowered fees or something. Right, lame. My 24-year-old borrowed my car with a full tank of gas on Monday this morning and got it back empty. Oh, that's such a 24-year-old thing to do. That is such a 24-year-old. I'm sorry. <laughs> do like the rental car place and charge him $10 a gallon to refill it. Well, you didn't buy the yeah. Just give the, well, you didn't buy the full tank of ga gas in advance, so <laughs> there is an option for that. And yeah, but okay, I agree about the posh fees. You know, when you add promotions and everything, and I think posh fees are fine. In comparison to eBay, I think they're actually less for us. But to make Posh Ambassador 2, they don't give you anything. Like, nothing is better. You don't get better search placement. You don't get lower fees. Even if they lowered it 1% or something or gave you, like, a free shipping hour every month. I don't know. You get a gold star. You get a gold star. 
Like at least with top rated seller on eBay, you get some perks. Yeah. Well, that's good, Tommy. Your ASP is 10 bucks higher on Posh. It's great. I find it is either higher or way lower. There's a lot of stuff that just goes for pennies over there. You get a badge. All right, I got a badge. Freaking, you don't need to stick a badges. What? what size? Yeah, what? what One X, X petite. petite. One X Petite. Badgers. <laughs> Women's plus size one X petite, one X P. Yoga dress pants, skinny late black. Remember? Fifty-five twenty-two. Fifty-five twenty-two. These are the beta brand. They, so what do I pick? Size type plus or petite? Hmm. Uh oh. Hmm. Uh oh. I think plus. Right. Yes. If you hadn't drug those all over the floor, I would call them new without tags. So what are you fail. talking about? Drug them all over the floor. Yeah. What are you even talking about? <laughs> Everybody's getting the movie clothes. Patches. What are mystic patches? In the same bow. Yeah, you gotta recruit someone. Isn't that crazy? This is not the first time he's done it to me. Uh oh. 2020 red Toyota Corolla, and he uses my car to take girls on dates <laughs> and leaves my tank empty. <laughs> yeah, he's a baller. 24 <laughs> year old Dan would have done the exact same thing. <laughs> and I'd be like, I didn't know this. You know, it's true. Mm. See it? Yeah, try are you priority or first? No. Touch partner with e other than shipping, so I cannot complain. This month is 5k in sales automated by bot and wife copies listings. There, it's hard to hate. Oh, that's so good, right? No, we don't hate Poshmark. I don't think, oh man, it's far away. Thing, it's not like taking my picture changes. Gosh, we're running behind today. Pictures. We only done seven. Oof. Why? Mm. I think I miss that. Yeah, do whatever you want to, no rules. Oh, Ruth, that's cute. Hey, Mark. <clears throat> she said, when I met my husband, I had a red MR2 sports car, and every time we would go on a date, he would ask to drive my car. <laughs> I love it. Those MR2s are cool.
Right. Somehow we need to do three in the next 20 minutes. Is that it? Yeah, yeah we do pants. We do pants. Pants of faith. Highly recommend having a listening goal. I know we should be doing it by dollars, but be. yeah. But at least like having some kind of goal that you don't go to sleep before you get it done. It's important. Yeah, what time Fourteen. Oh wait, I want to read your your tip, Jen. Hold on, let me go down here. You can also target likers on other listings that are like yours and the same size. You can go to just say, let's free people sweater of the same size. Go to the likers page and share some. Go to the likers pages and share some. But how do you know that they'll see your item? Oh, some of their items and follow them. You're just hoping they'll see your items. You could be aggressive and just share it directly to them. I know she said, I don't share it to their bundles. Literally Too aggressive. Said, I don't do anything intrusive like that. Yeah. Almost identical number of men's and women's running shoes listed on Posh and women's sales 10 to 1. Wow. Yeah, mostly women on Posh, though. Oh, that's bold, Ruth. She said, he broke up with me after eight dates and didn't see me for five years when he called me and asked me to marry him. Whoa. <laughs> Dang. Whoa. And you were just like, I... Oh man, romantic. Size 14? Yeah. Are they like convertible or anything? No. No. They just, yeah. They just hiking pants. I got a zip pocket. Trying to fill up these characters. They have husbands, partners, and kids, I'm sure, so that would make men wouldn't be bad, I guess. Or like, we don't shout for them. Tommy, they go to the Nordstrom and get it. They go to the sports authority. I know a lot of men that are a little bit skeevy on you, but Danny's doing them. What's the number on those? 5523. Like, dude, someone else has shoes. Not all men, obviously, but that looks on her. I need something else to say about these. I mean, nylon or something? <laughs> My mom's one of seven kids. It's a good number of kids to have. My mom and spandex. Little stretch. Little stretch. Maybe. I don't know. Alright. They're just done. filler. Filler pants. Filler pants. Filler pants. The software was okay, I think. I mean, whatever. I think I think the other stuff is on my, in my room. Our room. <laughs> there's stuff, you know what I'm talking about? There's like a pile of stuff. Or band. I didn't know that. Okay. There's priority or first? I'll wait. First. First class. What? I don't take any pictures of the tags. None of them? No. I measured them and folded them up. Get in here. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
recording, please. Mm. Down to 14 minutes. Oh, no. Seven minutes pair. Do we have any more Oh, not there. Can you send me pictures? Oh, Soft surroundings pants. Oh, right. Let's see if they got a style number. Well, you should have a draft. Okay. Right? Yeah, I think so. Full on straight black pants. Yep. Petite up short. Um, one X. Okay, but not feet. Nope. Two Perla pull on straight leg black pants. Nothing for you to worry about. I I said lint rolling. Women's extra large, you said? Got it. 1X. Yeah. Oh, 1X. Hey, Claudia. Um, global shipping, I added it, but I it ended up charging me too little for shipping. When I mentioned it to a customer after she had paid, she said she was charged $30.88 for shipping to eBay. Okay, hold on. It, uh, it ended up charging me too little. It ended up... The customer... Okay. Somebody needs to translate what I'm trying to say. Hi. I'm trying to answer your question, but it's a little confusing because it's global shipping. The customer shouldn't know anything about the cost. They they pay eBay. eBay handles it. I don't understand how eBay charged you. You're yeah. just sending it to Kentucky. Yeah, I don't understand how eBay could have not charged you enough for the label. If that's what you're saying you buy the label and you send your package to Kentucky local like domestic right so if it's a first class package whatever it costs you from your house to go to Kentucky then eBay charges the buyer that has nothing to do with you the buyer and eBay make that deal so the thirty dollars and eighty eight cents went to eBay right and that might be right but that's not what you have to pay for shipping Right. You don't have to pay anything for shipping other than to get it to Kentucky. eBay takes it from your hand and now it's now it's eBay's package and they negotiate with the buyer how much it's going to cost to get it to them. eBay's like, cool, whatever. You just need to get it to me in Kentucky. Is that helpful? She said, oh, okay, good. Hopefully that's helpful. I know it's confusing when you first do it. You're like, what? But literally you only have to get it to a state in the United States. Okay, whew. Uh, oh, wait.
Yeah, that's what's so great about global shipping for the seller. Because you don't have to worry about anything. You just got to get it to Kentucky. I mean, you have to tell them how much it weighs and everything, right? But they handle all the customs and all the tariffs and everything like that. Great. What's the number? 5524. I'm assuming those are going to go priority, huh? Probably, yeah. saw this today mark he said speaking of global shipping have we talked about the germany eco packaging thing like if i'm not signed up with that one approval site will ebay sell my stuff to german buyers i don't know did you hear about this in your everyday purchase i know i mean i kind of heard you about it pay like 60 bucks a year or something I don't know. did you not take tags again did it again bruh <laughs> It's becoming an issue. Two in a row. Way in there. Come on. Tommy said, I shipped two pairs of shoes to Germany today. I'm not signed up for anything. I'm not either, and I'm not going to. I feel like eBay, again, should have a flag. Like, you can't ship to this country unless. Or whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I don't it should know. Be preemptive. Yeah, some yeah. some kind of flag. I don't know when it goes into effect. I think it's July first. how I feel. Like, I don't really need to ship to Germany. Like, I'm not selling, like, something that's really hot only in Germany. So I'll just, like, exclude it if it comes down to that. But eBay should let us know. Yeah. Not giving my inf any more information to a government agency. <laughs> it's weird, right? Uh, is this going on a computer? Oh, I see, Claudia. She said, well, what happened is I had three separate items weighing the exact same thing, but customer asked to have bulk shipping and didn't want to be refunded. Ooh. I have never done that with Go Shipping. Have you? Really? You might need to contact customer service if it didn't work out. I don't know how to do bulk shipping in that situation. Tommy just sent two to Germany. What would you do? <laughs> Who's going to buy all that later hosen you have? My husband. He wears it around the house. No. <laughs> no. No. Okay. Where is that? Come on. There's one in there somewhere. Oh, God. You're so organized. No, he does not. <laughs> he is German, but I guess he's not that German, huh?
<coughs> We're on our last one. These are nice. These are onion fisher. What's wrong with them? <laughs> you sure? Yeah, these are they have a pocket that's still stitched shut. Okay, Tommy says you just put them all in one box, add the tracking number to the other two items so they all have the same tracking number. Right, but what if the weight is more than previously discussed? You know, when you don't buy a label for the other two items. Only one label with combined weight. Oh, you combine it on that label. I see what you're saying. What I just realized I did was that I didn't charge enough and ended up adjusting charges for three items, hence only charge weight on one item. I just nailed it like that. Oh. Well, then I think GSP will either back, back charge you or mail it back to you. Oh, stupid. I have to go in and edit these. so annoying when it does this. eBay's killing me. Sorry. Oh. <sighs> But we weren't on. Oh no! Are you in the Facebook group? You could ask us in Facebook land. All right, I need to figure out what these pants are. I don't even know which is. They're a size extra large. They are. Let me find the tag. I feel like so. With the number yeah. S eight G C. Are they um porn? No. Oh my God! What? First non porn. <laughs> Four twenty plus five digit buyer zip code plus tracking number. What's the four twenty? I combine them all the time, just not an issue yet. Just don't buy a label first. Now confusing me. Everything's confusing. A racing stripe on the side of this? Um, I don't think so. Tags? No. What's wrong? I don't know. My workflow's all messed up. Why? I don't know. What size are they? Extra large.
the number? 552. 5. 5525. I wish I knew how to help you, Claudia. I think what will happen is you will just get a charge on your account. I don't know how the person bought three things of Global Shipping and how they're getting charged. I think you need to contact customer service and explain the situation. That's what that's what I would make it do. <laughs> Just to be sure. sure. Yep. The worst thing that's gonna happen is they send it back. But the best thing that'll happen is they'll just adjust the charger in your account to get it the post office as well. It can't be that much more though. Like how much, what what kind of weight are we talking here? Because if your label doesn't weigh enough to get it to Kentucky, I don't think the post office will deliver it. Unless they charge it on the back end. It just depends on the weight difference. It'll be like not enough postage. Right? Since late last year, it will not let you do it anymore with domestic shipments anyway. No idea about internationals. How do you combine your orders? Is there a combine button for you? Daniel said I'm talking to you. Sorry. Yeah, there's a link at the top of the screen. Combine orders by buyer. So Jennifer was saying that her doesn't do that anymore since late last year. She doesn't do that anymore. She just do a work around or something. I'm not sure. Hmm. I just I do it the same way I always do. Just go into the bulk shipping bulk shipping label. And it's always at the top. Oh, oh, oh. In, I see, I see, I see. She's saying in pirate ship. Oh. Yeah, I don't know how to do that in pirate ship. <laughs> hey Cameron, <laughs> singing four non blondes. Everybody singing four non blondes. Oh, I sing <coughs> full volume. That's right. Can't sing that song halfway. <laughs> right, we're doing the old import. Oh yeah. Time for Amy's favorite part of the night. Didn't Dan tell you what happened with the mother babies? I. No mother babies. I totally know mother babies. I know all the words from mother babies. Yeah, we we exchanged emails back and forth about it. He just asked if we were watching mother babies. I watched mother babies. If we're watching it currently, you mean? No, you asked if we watched the thing you said. <laughs> but I didn't know that they were babies. Because I thought Animal was the only baby because he was like a baby. Like an infant. He was an infant. Because <laughs> then I started singing it, and then I was like, oh. Because when Muppet Babies came out, I was the same age as the Muppet Babies. I wasn't a baby. An animal was the baby. So it's very confusing. <laughs> For a toddler, okay? All right, yeah. Ex exactly. They were the baby versions of themselves, but I was a baby, but not a baby. I was a toddler. 
They shouldn't have had a baby in because then was animal Muppet infant. Yep. <laughs> Muppet infant. <laughs> it should have been called Muppet toddlers. Very confusing. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Did not know there was an adult version. Okay. Because they're still Muppets. I thought Muppet meant little. What's a Muppet? Because <laughs> like, whatever. I love that show, by the way. Eggs. See, they're not called Muppet adults. Right. So how how is one to know? Hey, Sal. Look, everybody coming in right when we're about to end. I know, right? What's up with that? Every time. I don't know. Cameron and Sal, where are you guys located? Are they West Coasters? That's uncomfortable. They're just coming on late. He was the babiest. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. All right, I imported our 10 little measly items here. We <laughs> need to fix this barley thing really quickly, or I'm never going to do it. Yeah, Oregon. Uh, that sucks. I'm sorry, you guys. Claudia, I don't know if we helped you, but I sure hope so. I hope so. I, I don't, we didn't really give you any, <laughs> we didn't give you any straight answers, but I definitely would chat the eBay rep. We use the chat function a lot. No, I don't think I saw the one that came out 10 years ago. No, but I no, saw no. the previous one. Wait, wait, wait. Cameron, I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't saying I'm sorry because you live in that state. I was saying I'm sorry that our things end right when you guys are getting on. I don't care what state you live in. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that was so weird. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was a weird timing. <laughs> oh, I love Fraggle Rock. Oh, that was the best. Best show ever. I like the doozers. Yeah, totally. Oh, that's all you. That's all you got. Enneagram one. Oh, Fraggle Rock's so good. Oh, and snorkels. Oh my God, snorkels so good. I forgot about all these things that you're talking about right now. No, it's just snorks. Oh, is it called a snorkel? Yeah. I thought it was a snorkel. No. Hmm. <laughs> Anywho, see, I'm right. <laughs> we got some water coming in. That's good. That's good. So yeah, we finished. It's been a long day. Tomorrow we have to go get twelve hundred dollars worth of shipping supplies. Oh man, it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna Everything get... was a, like an average of twelve bucks. So how many things am I picking up? I don't know. We're picking up a lot. I think it's twelve hundred dollars. Divided by 12. Oh, duh. 100. We're picking up 100 boxes of polymer. I think it's more. Yikes. Boxes and bowl mailers and polys. Oh my. So we're going to see what we need here and keep a lot for the future. And then yeah. we are going to offer them to you guys at whatever we can do. Minim cheap. Minimal markup. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Yep. Yeah, and in an estate sale. Oh God, it's gonna be. It's Dan gonna be has a informed day. me that literally this is what he said: "You cannot be Polly Mailer Oprah, <laughs> because all I want to do is give everyone Polly Mailer." He said, "No, I'm not allowed to do that." Can't do it. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know Speed Racer. We have a Speed Racer thing in our store. I just relisted it. What a little Mach Five car. Yeah, we have that beanie. Oh, yeah. Look out of your chair. <laughs> I'll do a whatnot. Oh, that's what I could do. Yeah. You can just start the bid at what we paid. Ooh. But we don't have a whatnot. No. Should we get a whatnot and just do shipping supplies? Is that awkward? Does anyone want to watch a whatnot of Polly Miller's? No, nobody wants to yes, see that. Yes, they do. Everybody wants to see that. What if we did our own whatnot on YouTube? Hey. With the Venmo at the bottom. Right. I don't know how you would do it, but like, there's got to be a way. Got to be a way. I'm going to figure this out. No, I don't think I want to get approved for whatnot. I just want to give out Polly Miller's. I don't want to pay a fee to anybody. <laughs> Thanks, Jill. 
I just want to give them to everyone for our effort, just get paid for the effort, but like way less than you could ever get them from New Line or whatever. Yeah. Just so because like we don't need forty thousand pollen millers, but I do. I didn't want to leave them there because they were ten bucks for a thousand. I was like, well, I have to get all of these now. Yep. Yeah, we'll figure out with some way to make it work and make it work out for everybody. That's for sure. Yeah, we'll just do Venmo or something. I think that'd be better because we don't want to pay fees on top of like the cheap goods, right? Because then they're not cheap anymore. Yep, ten bucks for a thousand of the big ones. I got 14,000 and then I got, anyway, I think we figured it out. I have like 50,000 volume millers. No, I'm not, I'm not exaggerating. So we're going to figure out how to get them to you guys. If you want them. Except that I got the media ones for James. Those are earmarked already. Literally bought them for him. Did I forget about them? Yeah, yeah there's no way we'll do it in one trip. I don't think so either. I think we're going to take two. <laughs> we bought the whole warehouse. It's a warehouse that was doing an auction. Damn. Oh, man. How many trips are we going to have to make? I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll tell you all about it tomorrow. All right. We'll see you guys then. Yeah, that's why I got them for James. Don't worry. I got, yeah. I got them covered. Yeah, I got yeah, him yeah. 144, so a gross. And I got like eight to ten of those for him. Eight grosses is. is... And they were only ten bucks, so I was like, I'm getting them all. Got them all. Yeah. Okay. Everybody, thanks for hanging. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.